Now that the astronauts have returned to Earth after a six-month science mission. They are heading to Houston to see their families. The resilience capsule will head back to Cape Canaveral for refurbishment for SpaceX's first private crew mission in September. Mission complete. <laughs> Applause and cheers for the successful and historic return to Earth for three NASA astronauts and one from Japan after 167 days in space. Mission Control radioed moments after the splashdown and spacecraft commander Mike Hopkins replied. We welcome you back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. For those of you enrolled in our frequent flyer program, you have earned 68 million miles on this voyage. And SpaceX, resilience, it is back on planet Earth and we'll take those miles. Are they transferable? The astronauts undocked from the International Space Station last night. This is an inside look of the astronauts. They flew back in the same Dragon Resilience spacecraft in which they launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in November. All four main parachutes could be seen deploying just before splashdown, which was at 2.56 a.m. The express trip took them about six and a half hours. This is the first nighttime splashdown of a U.S. spacecraft with a crew on on board since Apollo 8's return in 1968. Within a half hour of a successful splashdown, the capsule had been hoisted onto the recovery ship. Astronaut Mike Hopkins is grateful to be back. On behalf of uh, Crew 1 and, and our families, uh, we just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for this amazing vehicle resilience. Uh, my, we said it before the, the mission, and, and I'm going to say it again here afterwards. It's amazing what can be accomplished when, uh, when people come together. Um, so finally, I'd just like to say, quite frankly, uh, you all are changing the world. Congratulations. It's great to be back. And this is one of my favorite photos of the capsule after splashdown. It looks like a massive roasted marshmallow. And those outside temperatures reach over 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit during re-entry. Last night's undocking left seven people at the space station. Four arrived a week ago via SpaceX. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.